how to make a Twitter cover image in Affinity Designer. Twitter cover image is your first chance of impressing your audience. Through your cover image, you can promote your latest products or services. It is a great way to self-promote without spending any money on ads. There are several options where you can create cover images, some are free and some are paid ones. Today we will be exploring one of the paid options, using Affinity Designer to design your cover images. Before we begin, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so we don't miss new tutorials. When creating a design with programs like Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator, you need to think about a few things before you simply start designing. What type of header are you creating? Is it just to showcase your business or services? Is it to promote your latest products or showcase a special offer? Are you trying to get more followers or are you aiming to generate more sales? Do you have a color theme in mind? What graphical elements do you need before you start creating? Questions like these are better answered before you start designing. When you download a program or an app on your computer, first you need to familiarize yourself with the program and this might take some time. So having all the graphical elements and color themes ready will help speed up your design process significantly. There are various websites that offer free graphical elements for you to download and use unless you are brave enough to create your own. Uh, you can check out Pixabay, Bigteasy, Creative Fabrica, Pexels, Flat Icon, and so on. Some sites require attribution, and some allow to use their graphics freely for commercial purposes. You will need to check the terms of use for each site so you know what you are allowed to do and what you're not. If you are feeling a bit overwhelmed and don't know how a cover should look like, you could go to Twitter directly and look through other people's covers that are in the same or similar niches as you are in. How do their cover images look like? You can also go to Pinterest and search for inspiration and gather some ideas. There isn't a magical formula for making a cover image. The only guideline is that a cover image should include a company's important information, such as name, website, and socials. The fonts that you choose should also be readable. And when choosing the colors, make sure they are not too saturated and too bright. The rest is actually up to you. When creating a cover image, you have the opportunity to express your personality and show your visitors that you are trustworthy and they should listen to what you have to offer. To start designing, you need to set up your canvas. It should be 1500 pixels wide and 500 pixels high with 72 resolution and RGB color scheme. You can choose between various tools from the pen tool to simple shapes. Affinity Designer offers pre-made simple graphical shapes from squares to clouds to stars and whatnot, with which you can play with and create new shapes. You can also make frames out of each object by simply going into the layers panel and dragging the object that you want to appear inside the frame below the object that is the actual frame and shifting it slightly to the right. This action will nest your image inside that frame. You can also draw shapes with the pencil tool and make simple vector shapes that can be edited at any time. When working with text, you can choose between artistic text tool and frame tool. The artistic text tool does give you more options when designing a text but it is meant for single words or phrases. If you need a text to be aligned in a certain way or broken between the lines, it is best to work with the frame text tool. If you can't find any of the panels that you are seeing in my setup, you can simply go to View and Studio and then search for the panels over there. By clicking on them, they will appear on your working area. 
You can also nest the panels wherever you wish on the board. The most important part of it all is the exporting process. There are various options you can choose from when exporting a design. By going to File, Export, a pop-up menu will appear. In there, you choose what type of format you would like to save your design as. You have the options of PNG, JPEG, GIF, TIF, F, PSD, PDF, SVG, YMF, EPS, EXR, HDR, TGA. To be completely honest, I only use PNG, JPEG, and PDF, and sometimes SVG. The next thing you also need to choose is the area of work. If you have multiple artboards on your working area, you need to select the one that you want to export and then simply click export. When it comes to exporting Twitter cover images, I usually export as JPEG, but sometimes when I have more elaborate graphical elements on the cover, I use the PNG file format. Try out both and see which one is best for your design. How you design your cover is entirely up to your preferences and abilities. Before we say goodbye, check the description box. There is an ability designer file waiting for you with six Twitter cover templates. I hope they can be of some use to you. I hope this video was of some help to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will gladly reply. Before you click off, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. And on that note, I will see you next time.